Oh yeah, guys, we have some dirt. They just added dirt to the server yesterday in sort of like a one-time sale, and I bought it for thirteen fifty in real life money. And I don't think they, I think there's only like twenty on the whole server right now. So Captain Spangles has one. I know. I'm pretty sure Spam Dog has one. Obviously, a bunch of other people have them, but really, all the people who have dirt pretty much control the economy on the server right now. So, I was suggesting to a few people that we should form, like, a guild, and then, you know, if you guys are watching this video and you want to form a guild, then message me, of course. But, um, we should form a guild so that none of the people who have dirt sell gapples under a certain price so that we can keep the price up of gapples on the server. Because lately, some people have been selling them for like 10k, 20k, or whatever, because they're really cheap and inexpensive to get. But yeah, what we're going to do today, and I'm not actually going to show the whole thing, because that would be kind of boring, is we're going to try to make, or not try, we're going to make a apple crusher, or not an apple crusher, like a tree crusher, you know? So, um... It's going to crush all of the leaves automatically for us, and then we'll get like an infinite amount of gapples in no time. That'll be pretty insane, because pretty quick we'll be getting like, I don't know, like a few stacks of gapples. And how do you make these things like that, but then you take that out and no? Oh wait, no. Rails are like this, aren't they? Yeah, oh, okay. Oh my, <laughs> we do not need that many rails, and we need more power rails and detector rails than anything. But uh, this system, it's kind of uh, hard to use, mostly because you need um, rails to do it, because the normal design doesn't actually fit on plots, which kind of sucks. So I think we'll make the center of the room about here, and that's where we'll place the dirt. So then you need, like here you need basically like a ring all the way around it with a one thing of open space and then once you have that you need to get two off the ground because I've actually done this before on another prison server the tech nubs if you haven't seen them or if you haven't played on them then don't and if you do play on them right now then get off of there while you can Snow? No, wait. <laughs> oh, this is really bad. Uh, if you did, if you guys didn't notice, which I'll show you this. Once I got the oak wood, like immediately, I redid my plot. So now it's looking a lot better because the only blocks you could use for building before were like my least favorite blocks. So as soon as we could get oak wood, I I just jumped on that and got like a few stacks of it while I was farming the uh, apples. What the heck? Okay. But, so then, uh, this ring is what you really want. This is where, like, the pistons will start. Because no leaves actually form under here, under the two block most of the time. And then this goes up for, I think, six blocks. And then you can have, like, an eighth block so it doesn't spawn at monster tree, because... Those things are really annoying to deal with, even though I got like seven apples from one of them this morning. Because for a few hours I was actually just farming apples. I gave all of them away though, but I got like, you know, like uh, 25 apples in like an hour or two. But this thing is going to be like a stack of apples in like an hour, or maybe half an hour even, I don't know. But uh, yeah, so once you do that, I guess you have to... What did he buy? Donated. Uh, did he just donate? I don't know. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. And. Build that up, and I'll be back once this is the, like, the main part of it's built. And then we can focus on getting the detector rail, rails and the um, power rails and all that stuff set up. And then. I don't want to make the whole video just about apples, even though that those are really good. But I want to do some other stuff in here too, so it's not going to be like a full included tutorial on how to do this. So yeah, I'll be back. Okay guys, I am now an R. I just got like a donation from uh, Cool Jet and uh, Lazy Ninja Stars. 
So this is R. It's refusing to load at the moment. Looking pretty cool though. Although I've already seen it on a video of Brenny Beasts, so it's actually a pretty small rank. I hear from Miriam that the mine is like extremely OP. But we'll go for why is this taking so long? No? I don't know. Yeah, but look at this. This is <laughs> look at this. It's not loading. It's probably because of fraps, like Yes. Yeah, shout out to Cool Jet uh, uh, Miriam because Miriam has donated like 500k to me because he's a cool guy. Ooh, what's through here? I think that's plots, but I'm not really sure. This is so cool. Yeah, plots, and I'm pretty sure. Wow, these are way smaller than the the like plot world. Although, I don't know. It might be interesting just to get a plot here, just because. I mean, you know, saying that you have a plot in R would be pretty cool. Maybe. Ooh, what's over here? Looks like the void to me. No, okay. <laughs> okay, four furnaces. We got this covered. Everyone, no, yeah. There's pretty much no R rankers, which is really good because it'll be really, really nice for, uh, you know, mining and stuff. So the mine, the wood is <laughs> more birch wood. Luckily, they released dirt so that now we can actually get a block that looks good. And uh, I think that's pretty much R. There might be an enchantment table in here, but I'm not really sure where that is. And finally, it loaded. That was oh my gosh, it hasn't even loaded. I should have waited for it to load and then started recording, but like I just got stuff donated to me so I was like oh I got, gotta start recording right now yeah so two mines I think a normal axe is just like instant so you don't even have to enchant with the axe so that's really nice and the mine is extremely OP so um yeah I think that's pretty much R so yeah shout out to Miriam shout out to cool jet lazy and um Pretty much all the other people who have ever donated to me. So yeah guys, I'll be back at the plot. I'm actually putting the fi finishing touches on placing the pistons down. I knew there was an actual way to get up to this. But I'm just placing the final touches on uh, the pistons and stuff. And then we can start working on the uh, mine carts. So yeah, I'll be back. Okay guys. Let's see the bomb. Hello. Okay, Hackstar. <laughs> it's getting spammed now. Pretty much all those people are my subs, though. Um, anyway. Wow, that would suck if that dirt happened to be... Yeah. You are. Look, there. We'll get Miriam in here, too. You got a very nice hat. Uh, anyway. So, it's gonna work like this. And then we'll go around the corners, and that is not the right block, because it's pretty ugly. Uh, and then, pretty much in every place possible, you want to, dang it, you want to have power rails, because, like, the biggest problem with this thing is for it to actually be able to move. And I think we can put a lever in the corner here. No, wait. I think that'll actually work in this case, and then these two parts will be powered. And um, then we can put like another one here. And continue on. And uh, basically these detector rails, when the cart goes over it, it'll send off a signal so that both of these layers will be powered. At least, I'm pretty sure that's how it worked before. What's your channel name? my username haha <laughs> that's the benefit of having that uh, so anyway uh, no thanks captain I have a lot actually I might need some but I'll be back once the first layer is done then we can test that and then I can show you guys that it actually works and then I can do the rest of the layers and then after that I will be able to do something else but I I'll be able to get like stacks and stacks of apples pretty easy this way so yeah, I'll be back once the first layer is done. Okay guys, this kind of sucks uh, for whatever reason, and I think I know what it is.
people messing around with mine carts and uh, putting them on the ground. They act, you can't actually craft mine carts now, which is really annoying. So we're gonna try to fit it on here with what the heck? <laughs> okay, we're gonna try to fit it on here with repeaters and stuff, but that is gonna be really annoying to do. Plus, we're gonna have to move this whole thing that I've already built like one block back, so that you know they're gonna they're gonna actually be a redstone line in the back. So we're gonna have to do some tricky stuff with the uh, half slab building up to get the uh, the stuff up there. But honestly, I thought the minecart thing was way easier to do, but I don't know. This might not even work. So uh, I'll be back once this is moved over and at least the first thing is done. Hey guys, have the first layer done. And of course, everyone here is spamming it. I only have this wall done and uh, spam dog over there. It's been spamming it for like the last 30 seconds straight. Now zero spamming it? No. <laughs> The mayhem continues. I just need to break this button. That's what I need to do. No, no spamming for you. <laughs> I wonder what they're gonna say about that. Oh, he got the button. Anyway, have to put this over here. Actually, I think I'll do a repeater here on both sides. And um, then of course, I need repeaters here and here. Actually, no. Here and here, maybe. I, uh, no. I'll just do repeaters on everything. But then, of course, this jumping is really getting annoying. This is only, like, three from the thing. I don't see the point of putting a repeater, but I kind of need a repeater at some point to continue the signal. No. Don't do that. Come on. like that and it's gonna be more difficult to do this one cuz we might have to have like miniature platforms for the repeaters especially on this side because this one has to go all the way here instead of just to this but um yes I wonder what he's gonna say he's probably gonna ask me to build him one I think most likely Oh, <laughs> what the heck? That doesn't make sense. Um, anyway, I'll be back once this side is done, then I'll replace the button. Yes, I am recording now. Uh, yeah, guys, so I'll be back, and then we can let these guys all spam this side together. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, guys, it's done. They spammed dog and all them left, except for him, obviously. And, uh, yeah, so we didn't get to spam it in what way. <laughs> Whoops! I <laughs> pushed it without actually growing it. The only thing that kind of sucks is that now it takes a ton of bone meal to grow just because of that block up there, which, uh, make sure that you don't get a, like, extremely massive one free growing because that would really suck. But now we have to use, like, three or four more times the bone meal to grow it. But once it grows, like, check that out. How long that would take. And then, boom. All done. Just then. And, uh, all except for up there, obviously. And, uh, the leaves on the side can't really be helped. But, I don't know. If you put the block up there, it seems like it actually forces it to grow in, like, a taller shape. So, it, uh, forms all these leaves out here. So, I might just... Uh, put blocks like in the corners here so just you know stop the leaves from getting there because that kind of clogs stuff up uh, i had it one time before where it ended up destroying some of the redstone behind because the leaves would like replace it and it was not good so i think the best thing to do is put this here uh but anyway now that this is done, we're gonna what we're gonna do next is hopefully we're gonna get a bunch of snowballs, like an inventory full of it, and we're gonna start like a snowball riot in um, C or D maybe, I'm not really sure. I think C would be better for it. By the way, got these two apples within, I don't know, like 30 seconds of using this tree, 
or this farm because it's so efficient just so you guys know plus I don't even have an efficiency for axe yet so once once I can get an efficiency for unbreaking three axe this will be like max efficiency we'll probably get like a few stacks of apples every like half an hour or so so yeah that's gonna be really nice but I'll be back once we have some snowballs which we might even be able to ask cool to get us for it because he's MVP and um I don't know. A few other people I know who are MVP are on right now, or VIP, to get us the snowballs are on, so we might get them from them. But I'll be back as soon as the riot's starting in C, and that, that should be pretty cool. Okay, so it seems like no one actually has any snowballs. Like, okay, I got this much from Cool, but other than that, no one seems to have any snowballs, so I figure even if I get snowballs... There won't be enough people to do a like giant snowball fight with. Plus, I don't have good enough armor at the moment to uh, try to PvP people. I'm only wearing like prop three right now, even though I can get unlimited gapples at the moment. But uh, what I'm gonna do? So this is gonna be the end of the video. Hopefully, well, no. Yeah, next video will be like a giant PvP riot type video again. And then it would be cool if we could actually cycle the videos like this, possibly. So that uh, every like other video would either be a uh, PvP riot or something cool with redstone. Like this, but I'm not sure if this is super efficient, honestly. Because it takes like half a stack of bone meal for each thing. But I don't know. It, it might, I think the problem is it might actually take just as much time to just like get a tree originally to bone meal it and then cut it down as with this as it would to just do it normally and get a normal tree and do all that. So I don't know if this is super efficient, but it's definitely cool. <laughs> and if I can figure out how to get it super efficient, then I could, you know, get like a few stacks of gapples. But what I'm going to do for the next video is a 32 gapple giveaway, not not a stack. That's kind of ridiculous. So, uh, yeah, enter your username at the end of this video on the comments. And I'll just randomly pick someone for it and give away 32 gapples. Although the thing is, if you're not actually... I'll announce it in the next video. So if you're not actually on within, like a day or so to get it then I'll just give it to like someone else because I don't really want to have to you know wait around for like eight days to give someone their gaffles so you know because that would be kind of annoying so yeah hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching and can't wait to do the next prison